got John running Sister OTK and Phil running the newer version of Emo Kids. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Elite Kylo and Elite Anakin. There's the handshake. So John Gabel has pretty much a straightforward Seven Sister OTK, uh, except with the small change that uh, he's running more blue characters. Usually you see the rainbow with the yellow one, but in this time he's using the Night Sister because uh, he can always deal the damage to her, reroll any of the um, any just, dice of his turn. He's looking for that consistency over the, over just getting pure burst. Whereas Philippe Pekin is doing E Kylo, E Anakin. Now this matchup is going to be a little rough because knowing Philippe, he's probably going to call blue all the time. For sure. Considering that most of Gobel's deck is consistent of blue cards. Right? And especially once John's played cards like Leadership and Best Defense, which Phil Philippe will know were there because those are standards when you're running red, especially in the OTK. Once those are gone, what other red would there be for him to bother calling? Yeah, and and also something to consider is you almost never call neutral because guess what? Two doubts. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Although I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be hearing a lot of blue. Yeah. Well, we'll be assuming anyways, as we can't oh, right. physically hear Correct. them. Whereas, um, um, but yeah, let's look at Philippe's deck then. Two ancient light servers, two cross guards. That's pretty standard. Uh, yeah, two four solutions, four speeds. I like seeing the feel your anger. It's always fun. It's, the, uh, the one frightens kind of interesting, given that I don't see any intimidates. So I guess he he probably tech that, assuming Qui Gon. <coughs> well, we have to consider the ne the other matchup is a mirror uh, Qui Gon Yoda matchup. So. Yeah. He, he he picked a good card. For sure. Yeah. Otherwise, most of the rest of it's fairly standard. You've got a lot of things that'll give you special options or just lots of burst damage. And the close quarter assault, which is meant for this uh, this matchup, so that he can get rid of those cards like leadership and best defense from John's hand. So we got the rolls. It's two, three, four, five, two, two, four. So Gobel gets to pick the battlefield. This will be an interesting choice. Yep. Will he take Fort and Axis to get Guardian to keep himself alive? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, he will. He does. He does. Two shields on Kylo, so we know who he wants. To, Philip wants to protect. Well, Kylo is the stronger of those two, for sure, by far. Yeah, because Kylo can still stand his own by himself, whereas Anakin by himself is not as strong, right? Yep. And Kylo, just that activation damage is amazing. Mm. It's almost almost guaranteed yep. to damage. Opening with an aftermath from John, which I view as a stall, just to see what Philip does, and he opens that it binds all things, which is a great opening card. That most likely that means he probably has an upgrade for in sure, his hand, right? So knowing that, you have to adjust accordingly. Yeah. There's a lightsaber pull, so John's still playing it slow. Uh, that'll be interesting. What is he looking for? Probably a. I'm going to assume ancient. ancient. Maybe. Right? Yep. Yeah, ancient. Because I don't recall him running any other direct weapons. And he wants to heal the damage that Kylo will definitely do on the sister. For sure. Keep the sister alive as yeah. long as he can. And there's the Kylo trigger. Although he hasn't activated him yet. Oh, no. Oh. So, for whatever reason, John has put his cards face down on the table. As he was expecting Kylo to activate. Probably. That's fair. Oh. One damage because of uh, the cross guard. The cross guard. The funny thing is, John's reaction made me feel like I was watching Yu-Gi-Oh for a moment, as there <laughs> tends to be two rows where the back is face down. <laughs> Not that most of our viewers will recognize what I'm talking about, but I play a lot of card games. Yeah, there's the ancient lightsaber. Yep, yeah, pretty much. That's as expected. one less blue card in his hand. For sure. However, with only well, there's some red. There's the Kylo activation. And I'm pretty sure he gets blue. Yep. Oh. That, the Maul yeah. Saber, which there is also go. really important information to know that Saber's there. Yes, because of the shields, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, as well as just knowing that damage potentially exists. And you want to yeah. try to mitigate the damage so it's not the There's shields. There's Night Sister with a Ford and Axis uh, Guardian Drag of mm -hmm. one of Kylo's dice. It's good, that's mitigation on the man. Yeah. Anakin comes in on a shield and a resource. That's an interesting role. There's Sienna oh. doing another drag, just trying to keep Sister wow. alive. That's that's clever, it's just mitigation. Now, for those who can't see through the glare, Sienna came up as a one um, disrupt. So that's probably not going to be a great side for John. Well, I mean, John probably doesn't really care what Sienna rolls. That's fair. Most of the time, it's all about the seven sister. But it's the fact that two sides get you that resources, so you could play them all, save them more easily, or just get more advantage going. Mm, right. Right? That's why, you, in my view, you choose Sienna over Newt. Because they both fit the same space. That's a smart uh, 
deck building choice. I, I also personally will be honest, and I use Newt because I like the annoyance of his effect. So blank and a two with a pay cost. So right now, Gobilla is probably feeling safe. But the important thing here too is he discarded a close quarter assault in order to do that. That is a strong card against the OTK deck. For him to discard that makes it, makes me wonder. He was probably banking on. Banking on just yeah. damage, yeah. He wants to end this as fast as, as, fast as possible because he knows once the sister girl's rolling, it's dirty. Yeah. Although John not getting any droids to start does hurt a little bit. That is true. Uh, we see that's it's, it's not bad. Stand He's got roll. the focus. He can get to it. Oh wow! He just discarded the second close quarter assault. So that's out of the game. Oh, the mall. Oh, sorry. He activated the close, close yeah. quarter assault. My bad. But hitting that mall is huge. It's huge. There's the reroll with the free cost card, which will allow him to draw a replacement. Thank you for the trust your instincts. I'll go get on now. All right. Oh, the seven sister coming back blank. That was not a great roll for him. Yeah. You don't want to see that. No. Let's see what Philippe does. He's got. What can Philippe do in this situation? He has oh, one I card guess Philippe hand, I passed and, and allowed John to resolve. Yeah. Unless I missed something. Uh, they were just noting how uh, Gobel picked a resource. Hmm. So he's going to activate the sister to reroll? Yep, taking ability. the damage, for sure. A for shield. a shield. Oh. It's not really what he wants to see. And I believe Philip just passed again. Most likely has some sort of mitigation. He's just waiting for the right opportunity to use it. For sure. Oh, and John just showed us he has a best defense in hand. I don't think you want to use... It's not worth it yet. Yeah, I would just... Also, if he does have the resource to be shown. Mm. There's the damage on Night Sister. He's just pushing. He gets a disrupt, which yeah. in this case won't do much. Night Sister may die very quick in this game. Yeah. There's another resource gain. I'm thinking he's getting a lot of resources because he's hoping to draw into uh, Rice again. Because he does play sure. two copies of that. There's the hidden, oh, motive. The hidden motive. That was there the card that was left. Comes and back it's blank. blank. That paid out yes. big time. Well, reasonably well. At least it came up blank. If it had come up that damage, it would have been gone. Yeah, that's right. So it's prone for re-rolling, but oh, oh it's going to be the best defense. He just wants to push. Comes back a blank and a resource. Blank and a resource. He claims. Yep. Feel it plain. So there's Fort Naxus basically out of the game for the moment. So he's time. aiming for Anakin. That's interesting. Well, he's assuming he can still burst damage enough to take Kylo down or almost entirely in one shot. So why not put the small damage on Anakin? On the supporting character first. Exactly. Okay. Because this OTK deck should be able to kill any character in one shot. Yeah. If he gets the cards he needs. If the proper cards. If the combo hits, yeah. it's it's devastating. Well, I mean, there was a version of this deck that was listed online at one point that could do 100 damage. Um, there was a trigger of Kylo. Oop, an accidental. And he hit... I um, believe the Enrage. Yeah, there's, so two there's damage. damage. That's Night Sister's half health. <clears throat> yeah. You mean seventh? Oh, yeah. Seven Sisters half health. I mean, ninth is. Or, sorry. Uh, uh, ninth is almost. Yeah. Although it feels like it might have been just slightly late there. <laughs> but that is the just nature of the game, given that Philippe did claim. Uh, well, Philippe is showing. Four, yeah. yeah. So I would trigger. He pays the one to trigger the full damage, straight into seventh sister. There goes the illusion. What do we hit? Bo uh, boundless ambition, plus of failure. Oh, oh, a droid. And a droid. The wow. droid is the biggest hit there. Yeah. That's gonna hurt. And a probe too. Yeah, I mean, to me, the probe is probably the least important of that. Well, you get, you get, you get, uh, you get to pick at your opponent's hand, and if it's two events. For sure. You get information and you get to discard it. For sure. I just feel like those other three cards were much more important mm -hmm. to his win con. Absolutely. Uh, it looks like he's trying to decide if he plays another Aftermath. Nope. Roll the sister. Disrupt. Yep. There's a force speed. So Philippe's getting more specials on the table. Uh, there's the disrupt from the Night Sister in order to get rid of a resource. Because why not? That's a good roll for Anakin. It's two. Uh, 
Yeah, two with a focus and, focus and resource. That's resource. pretty good. It's the special on the four speed's probably not that big a deal right now. Well, you can use the focus to change. Exactly, Kylo's get that bigger damage. The, uh, um, so Night Sister taking mm. damage to reroll the focus because he's concerned about what it could do. Coming back special, it's still reasonably good. There's the special. Two actions. Yep. And what's his first? Enrage. Okay, he wants no that resource. resource. So he can resolve a two damage. Seven damage. Yeah, Night Sister's going down pretty quick. There's the probe. Force Solution and the Feel. So Feel's gone, and he now knows there's a Force Solution available. Which Philip will not use right now. He feels comfortable. None of his characters except Anakin have taken any real damage. Correct. It would just be taking up space. Mm. All right, here comes seven. Uh, that's, that's not the optimal role for Gobeil. No. Uh, he played an overconfidence on the droid himself. The droid. The droid's at one right now, so yep. it's it's a tie. He gets a pick. Yep. We. He did pick the droid. He removed it. We okay, he's just keeping it lower. Sorry. We see a rise again in Gobel's hand, so if he gets enough resources, he could get back he could get back in this game. And he's got two resources facing there. He's got four on the table, so he can get there. Mm. Uh, there was it binds all things to get a free four solution just so he can draw. And the rise again would allow him to play them all for sure. Skid the scarpot. It would bring him way back in the yeah. game if he can do it. There's the enrage. Now he's got the resources. I'm hope hoping Philip sees this coming. <laughs> He has to. He has five years. Yeah. There we go. There's the rise again. All oh, right. he claimed. Uh, and there's the there's mole saver. So John's back in this. Now, unfortunately, he's already rolled out. Kylo, yeah, Kylo has two shields. So unless those shields go out, he won't be able to activate the power action on the lightsaber. Yep. There's a discard for reroll. I'm betting he's trying to get to exactly what mm -hmm. you're talking about. I also like that they're both using the 2017 Nationals mats. That's a two range. That's, that's, that's really good. For sure. Uh, it's oh, the, it's, no, a it's a plus, plus two. On Sienna, yeah, it's always a plus no, two. No, no. So he one. hasn't gotten the damage he needs. And I do not believe he has any cards left in hand. Yeah. Night Sister? I, w I would take the damage on the Night Sister. Yeah, I agree. Just try to get that. Reroll the disrupt face at the very least. Uh, yeah. Oh, actually, there is a there is resources you could disrupt if you wanted to though. Oh, oh he gets a shield. shield. On now he gets the shield to then spend the shield on the reroll of Night Sister. That's a great plan. Oh. And he got the damage he good. needed. There go the yeah. shield. Mall. And here comes the mall. But only two sides of that mall matter. The rest are all pluses. He hit a plus, so he's not going to be able to do much with that this round. Do you keep pushing it? No. No. Okay. There's nothing left to push with. Unless you really want to reroll the Sienna and do more damage to Night Sister. So we're back to the top. I feel like despite the massive advantage that I would probably give Philippe right now, I feel like Kobel's not in a bad spot. Yet. No, he's still in a reasonable spot for sure. Um, Night Sister's a little more injured than I'd want at this point in my game. Yeah. But that's the nature of. So blank. Yeah. One and a disrupt. Yeah, here comes the Kylo's act the Blue. activation special. And yeah, he hits, hits a it. second. Well, oh, Philippe. he wants to get rid of yeah, get rid of the, the price of failure and stuff like that, right? Uh, yeah. The rerolls too, oh, and yeah. he's so close to dead. That price of failure, like you mentioned, gets yeah. him so much. Okay, so just as a commentary, in case people are curious. Philippe is actually staying at John's place, so I'm wondering if John has made any comments to him as to whether or not, uh, as to what happens if uh, Philippe beats him, because that would be really funny, and I, I would at least make those jokingly. <laughs> also, on top of that, Philippe actually borrowed some of the cards he's using in order to play today from John. Mm -hmm. So John may lose to his own cards. <laughs> Ooh, doubt. Doubt on the Mall Saber. That's a really good play because most of the faces are pluses. But now he can use the power action to bring it back in. This is true. 
Yeah, but that's fine. He's made him use up the power action. That's right. Is there more mitigation in his? Yep, overconfidence. Yeah, overconfidence. Probably on the two base, uh, I'm expecting. On, oh, no. no. The saber and the droid. Okay. I was expecting the droid. I was ex just the sister was the other one I was expecting. Well, the droid would always be at one, so it's... Ca oh, Double wow. blank. The there goes the saber. Wow. Yep. That, that's rough. Yeah, that, that was really perfect for free. Snake eyes. Oh, the leadership player. Nice. We've got John t uh, trash talking <laughs> Philippe <laughs> because he was able to pull that off. An ancient. Wow, he just. Anakin is getting stacked. Yeah, he's just making sure that if Kylo dies, Anakin's ready. Well, at this point, I feel like Anakin is more of a threat. For sure, but he's also got Force Illusion on him, so he's functionally as durable as Kylo is right now. Yeah. yeah. You know, Philip's gotten the time to get himself up and running. And uh, Anakin will go Oh, out. that was a reroll. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's the drag using Ford and Axis, because John gave it to him and Philip took it. Yeah. And he took one of the droids away. That way, on reactivation, Sister doesn't get a second. It's a good choice. He only gets the, the same one that he would have. He used the dragon. Yeah, and the king has gotten because of the battlefield. Exactly. That's four, five damage. Yeah. Plus wow. a focus. That's 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 a lot of damage. Yeah, oh yeah. Break up on a hero. All right. So now John's trying to do what he's going to do. There comes the shield. Makes sense. He's got to stay alive because there's a lot of potential coming from Philippe. Somehow, yeah. Always going for the ditch and reroll, not just using the focus. He's just trying to get as much as he can out of this. And that uh, paid out. Yeah, I did. Wow. That is a great, great roll. Especially that plus three. Yeah. He's trying to count to see if he can kill Sister on the next activation. Does Gobel have any mitigation in his hand? Um, oh, no, he's, he's kept his hand down. mostly down. Oh, the Ancient, just to heal? Yep. Mm. Which is unfortunate, given he was ready to roll it in again. Well, I think it's like four, uh, so five, six, seven, yep. eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's, yeah, Philip used the focus just to get more damage. So, unless John can do anything here, we're likely going to go to game two. Oh, he's just going to roll in for the heck of it. All right. He's in fact making comments. Oh wow. So. So John's openly said to Philip he has no mitigation in hand, but he's going to roll just because he wanted to see what would happen. And now it's only... Sienna. Sienna. And she's injured. Will they continue or will they go to game two? I think he'll play it out. I mean, they do have the time, and it allows them to see more of Philip's deck. All right, looks like we're going to be playing it out. Uh, there was a pull to get an ancient lightsaber back, which, is, which Sienna couldn't use. It's really weird interactions due to the pluses and mixed damage, but, you know, why not? At this point, I think Gobel will take whatever he can get, you know? Yeah. So I'm not sure if you guys can hear this on the stream, but... John's explaining to those around him here that this is roughly what happened the first game in which when they were practicing, or possibly earlier today, as I believe they did meet. Oh yeah, that's. Yep, he's gonna concede. All right, on to round two. Yeah, on paper you would think this matchup wouldn't be so uh, one-sided. For sure, John should have had a lot more damage out the door before Philippe killed him, at yeah. the very least. At least. I would, I would have thought Anakin would have gone down before. Yeah, the or sister. Kylo down by half or something. But again, the Force Illusion discarded a um, price of failure and key cards that That's Bill true. really wanted to see in his hand. Right? That is very true. And Philippe was rolling really well. Oh, yeah, he rolled amazing. And I mean, there's also the thing that uh, Kylo 2 is just meant to go after mono decks, which. It's sort of what John's running. He's got a bit of red, but it's still so much blue. Uh, yeah, just a sprinkle of red, two copies of gray, and everything else is yeah. blue. So, And the more red cards he plays, the more likelihood of you hitting exactly. a blue. Exactly. Yeah. And that's why 
there's other people who will play this OTK deck with all three colors just because the the yellow will give you all that mitigation and it'll have the numbers of cards in your deck to make Kylo have to think. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, they're just pile shuffling. There is the mulligan by John. Do you think um, John should switch battlefields maybe? To get the so shields. the thing is that battlefield gives um, a lot of power to emo, although not as much as it used to since this Kylo doesn't have a special, and this Anakin's special is kind situational. Like self damage. No, this Anakin is the one where he discards a card and either gains shields or does damage mm. if it's a villain or a hero, and since he's playing heroes, it'll always do damage. Interesting so, choice. Gobel kept a maul. Um, Lightsaber. He's hoping for Sienna to give him some resources, and he may have an enrage in hand that we didn't see. Mm, could be. And I mean, Maul's saber is just good. What, maybe he doesn't want to risk not seeing it again? Hey, this time he chose the other battlefield. Oh, right. wow. Maybe that's why he kept them all. Uh, all right, there's Binds All Things, a lightsaber pull. Uh, oh, and there was the Enrage, as I mentioned. Mm -hmm. So John's getting set up for that Maul. There it is. There it is. Uh, and the cross guard is now in Philip's hands, so some damage is incoming to John. There's cuts, as everything's very appropriate that way. We want to be proper and make sure there's no. Very sportsman like. Yep. And here comes the cross guard. And we have to mention that Binds of Things on turn one is amazing. It's the amount of resource that it saves you, it's, it's huge. For sure. I mean, assuming you play three, four, five rounds, that's each round you're saving a resource after the first. Mm -hmm. But you need to see it early or it doesn't pay off. Um, so Kylo rolls in a shield, a resource, and one damage. Yeah. So as being mentioned in the comments right now, some people are talking about the change of battlefields and why John didn't use him. He finally went... Oh, no, he called Red and he, he got it? Oh, wow. Wow. So the reason that John chose the other battlefield, as they're saying in the comments, is likely correct, in that the Fort Anaxis was being used against him, and that was problematic. Not only that, but he's also smart, because in the discard pile, he saw two blue, and then Maul, which is three blue. So calling call red is Kylo, a very yeah. smart call. Very yeah, yeah. smart call. Although that probe did hit a doubt, which is painful, and showed that there's a loot, there was a four speed in hand. Mm. Oh, and Anakin's on uh, special, but now Philippe's only got two cards in hand. One's a four speed. John's trying to guess right now as to what the other card is to see if he cares about Balance that special. Ambition will uh, oh, let him drop the back to his nice. hand size. That's the perfect time to play it. Discard to reroll. There's a droid. He's got a droid in hand. Philippe does not generally discard with that deck, so that droid's going to come down next turn. Uh, there was the reroll by Philippe proving that he didn't have a villain card he'd be willing to discard for the special. That's right. But he did dish for speed, which is one of the most expensive cards in the game for a reason. <laughs> and it's now in his discard. Here comes Night Sister. Two resources, a focus, and a blank. Yeah, that's not that great. Oh, John's making a joke about if he had a whole bunch more droids, he'd be happy because he could that focus would increase by Valid every by other one. droid that was on the table and he could fix all of his dice. That's a nice roll. So we're doing three damage to the night sister. Yeah. Or seven sister. Seven sister, sorry. This is the other part of it. When people play this deck, it, we can't just say sister as there's two of them. Mm. <laughs> we have to say seventh yeah. sister. Yeah, <laughs> seventh or knight, pretty much. Oh, close quarter assault, but only for a reroll. And it's off the table. Wow, mm, that came is back nice. Two. That is very nice. That was worth it. Does uh, oh takes the damage on the knight Smart. sister in order to reroll, and that's a special, which is useless because he has no cards. That's right. And John's laughing. <laughs> He's having a good time no matter what. Yep. Here comes the knight on and he blank. rolls a blank. That's unfortunate. That's a plus two. Yep, so Which Sienna came up as right pointless. Yep, he's making comments about how it's the same as a blank in this game. 
Although, if the Night Sister came up on range, he could use it. I doubt he'll try and keep for that. No, I wouldn't. Neither would I. Well, sorry, in a fun game, I might just. Could you ahead. claim and do the special on the crossguard? I believe so, yes. What do, like, um, would that be. Sorry? Would that be a right call? Would that be. Um, I just need a reminder, we're going to pull it up on screen. Yeah, I would. that would be a very reasonable thing. Right? Instead of using Kylos. Yep. Yep. And there's the reroll. Now Sienna's on base damage. That's good. And, so, and of course the Night Sister is now that Sienna is no longer on plus two, as we were just talking about. So it's 1-1. One, one. <laughs> uh, oh, he disc discards. Well, he has to. He, is, yeah. he needs that damage. I believe he's trying to decide if he wants to reroll the droid with it. He chooses not to. And the reroll is a blank, a plus four, and a one, and one shield. But he's got that focus. He can get six damage on the table, and Philippe cannot stop it. Because he has no cards left and only two dice on board. So, some people are making comments about there being possible less than ideal plays being made. Everyone needs to remember, these guys are on their ninth round of the day. So, we've, it's been a long day. It's definitely taxing on the, on the mine. Yeah. All right, so we've got some resources, a shield, still got that focus, and plus four. He could do six melee and two range. Yep, and, he could, eight, right? and he'd still have the ability to power action that maul back in. That's right. Which, although it doesn't have a lot of faces he can use, it's still something. He ditches, oh, he the, ditches droid. the droid. Wow. That's an interesting crap. Okay, he did hit damage. Now this might be worth it if he focuses for two. Then he can power action back in, and he gets a... Oh, pulls a shield in. T gets rid of it with the two range. Now he could do six, roll the maul back in, focus the sister die to another two, and that's... Yeah. Well, that's here's the first... Lethal, no? yeah, here's the first six. He's trying to take Kylo out here. This is going to be a nail And there's bother. the power action. Comes in at that plus three. could be lethal if he plays it right. And there's the focus to get a two. That's another five, oh, and there goes Kylo. That is great. All right. Wow. This is a very different game than our game one. Yeah, absolutely. It's Fe still close, don't get me wrong. For sure. But, but it's much better. Yeah. Philippe does not have much damage available to him right now, unless he draws damage. Mm. Whereas John has all of his characters available. They're injured, but he's and got a lot of potential. We saw Philippe discard a force uh, illusion, I think. Uh, there was a speed. Oh, force speed. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there's another cross guard in his hand. There is. However, it's Anakin, so he won't get the bonus damage. I believe Philippe has a force illusion too, so that should be interesting. Yeah. There's the binds all things and oh. one for the cross guard. Yeah. He needs to set up to be able to do damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, and John, John likely getting ready for an upgrade. And look how, um, look how important the Night Sister was in this instance because she's still a at three health. Yep. So you can still use her. You can still reroll with her. Yep. John set up for more damage. That's the special on the cross card. Can that be interesting? Uh, the special is actually on Anakin. Oh, cross cards are one resource. They look alike. And it's hard to see sometimes, no. since these are small images. Oh, oh, the best defense. Yep, getting rid of two, because he's already in a strong position. He's just trying to guarantee it. Mm -hmm. And I mean, Sienna hasn't been touched yet. There's a discard of Frighten to reroll. The one die for a plus. Uh, oh. He could always claim and do two. This is true. So it's guaranteed two, no matter what. Yep. If he remembers that that's an option. Mm -hmm. And there's the seventh sister coming in. Well, Maul is really good. Uh, yeah, he just needs that's a, about it, a melee. He just needs a black... Yeah, uh, which he didn't get. No. But he's got cards he can ditch, as well as the, the night, night sister. sister. So roll the night sister in, see if he can... Oh, oh two damage. Wow. So he'll probably resolve that and then just start beating on night sister until he can get what he needs. Well, he must have some sort of control in his hand. Um, he's got the resources. Oh, <coughs> overconfidence. Overconfidence is smart. Yep, on the Night Sister and on the droid, okay? And the Night Sister stays on two damage. And there goes the droid. That was not what Philippe wanted to see. So, Anakin's at eight. Yep. Yeah. This is a. Uh, 
This is def definitely a more exciting game than the first one. I mean, the first one was pretty good. So far, everything we've had on stream has been very oh, enjoyable yeah, to watch. it's been a blast. It has not been so one-sided that it just ends quickly. I mean, that's the great thing with Destiny. You're not out until you're out. It's not over until it's over. Yeah. And now I feel like we're really cheesy anchor people, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, so John's trying to work out some details. Here comes Sienna. The fact that he activated Sienna means that he no doesn't leadership. have a no leadership yet. Yeah. Yeah. But he still he also has damage no resources. Yeah. He got the damage, though. Yeah. Every damage is counts in this instance, especially because there's no for solution. For sure. So now John's just chatting with those around, trying to explain where he's at, because he's a little confused as to why Philippe hasn't done anything, and he's expecting Philippe has some mitigation. John's played a second aftermath just to get some more resources. Price of failure. Oh, and there he kills go. the seventh sister to reset. Sorry, kills the ninth sister to reset the seventh sister. Wow. I I might have damaged the ninth sister a bit more to get ideal rolls. And then until it's <laughs> over, and, then yeah. you yeah. But nonetheless, he's now set himself up for some strong options. So we'll see him resolving as many dice as he can in order to be able to roll them back out. There's two shields, keep himself alive later, and a resource. Yeah, because um, Bryce again could be a thing. Yep, now he's rolling in. It's just too bad he's going to lose lose out on one Maul Saber. Because did he use his power action board. yet? No, he did not, but he could have had Maul Saber three times this round instead of mm. two. Well, he, has, he rolled a f one focus, so that's not bad. This is true. Oh, uh, he's re-rolling. Ditching uh, to re-roll? Yep. Oh, he feels he's in a strong enough position, right? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, and here we go. There we go. He got At least the damage, one, yeah. so he can resolve the, f the Maul and bring it back. Oh. That's what we were waiting on, was feel your anger. So I'm assuming... Oh, he oh, takes the focus. So he's going to... Interesting. Guaranteed take. So yeah, he's yeah. expecting he can't take more damage later by getting rid of that focus. I was still rolling them all. For sure, because you've got a face that gets your resources and a face that gets... Oh, that's... Um, no. Oh, the he, right put, dies, the, he put the die in the wrong place. That's why. There you go. See? This is why I would roll it still. Yeah. There's a uh, chance you can... And now they're resetting, so that's fine. Oh, no, they're not. They're holding off. Oh, he's now correcting, so the right card is tapped. Or, exhausted. Remember which game I'm playing. So Anakin is down to two health yep. against a five damage, three shields, and now using the yep. ancient, ancient lightsaber. So this is not looking good for Philip, but okay. that's okay. He won the first round, so he'll still have another round available There's, to him. There, were, there might definitely be a game three. Yeah. All right, so we're now into the next step, and Philippe is upgrading to a three-cost upgrade. Oh, four-cost small yeah, saber. Mall. Which, right now, it, it's it's a really good card, He needs the damage. But he needs to get rid of the shields first. And there's the pull? Yeah, there's the pull. Well, presuming he re resolves the saber, the mall saber already, he'll get rid of those shields. Mm. But now there's an ancient in John's hand, and he should have the resource. He has lots of resources. Mm. So that ancient's going to come down before he does anything else, I expect. And we've got That's a, a that's special. Oh, this is the special's good, but he can't resolve that mall saber right now. Wow. Nice. The control is real. Yep. So Sienna takes the damage, but well worth it with that best defense. Philippe plays the second it binds all things. I'm pretty sure just to stall so he doesn't have to yeah, claim her pass. He's trying to hang on yeah. and he's doing the he's doing the right thing. He's, uh, Playing close quarter defense, just to discard one car card from John's hand. Because this card is based on the number of dice that the controller has with the melee face on it, and Philippe only has one. Would you probe his last card out? Uh, as Bell has a probe droid. But there's still two cards in Philippe's hand. Oh, just to, just to get information on what his hand I would hand. keep it for a reroll. He's in a strong position, he wants to kill him here. Mm. Right? Oh, oh, but he's going to probe, just in case. He wants to see what's... Oh. See, both of them. Nice, gone. nice. And John's just mentioning to Philip that he was considering the extra reroll potential, but wanted to make sure. And hitting the hidden motive was 
big. Mm -hmm. And that's now game three. That's game. Game three. Everything is tied. Yep. So, any halftime -half adjustments that you would suggest for Philippe? I mean, this is just, this is going to be the nature of these games. I expect where one side's going to roll the damage they need while the other side doesn't. Mm. They're both just such aggressive decks. If anyone's wondering why we're seeing 2017 National Championship mats on Reef, um, there was a slight mix up when it came to the prizes. So, uh, Asmodee FFG were amazing in tr and they offered to all the events here copies of the 2017 prize kits and will be in the in once the 2018s are available mailing them out to all the players who earned participations anything else so it's very kind from FFG yeah we appreciate it so they're making sure everyone gets the prizes they deserve plus the extra prizes so they got something here at the, sh the event that's right and as we can see, Philippe chose uh, Gobel's battlefield and he got the shields. Yep. All well, the shields will be important, just keeping Kylo alive and reducing that Maul Saber. As well as Philippe's been tending to claim, so he'll be able to use Fort and Axis to slow John down, like in round one. Mm -hmm. So Philippe's opened with an Ancient Lightsaber, so he's got some protection. He's rolling in. Actually, they both opened with Ancients. John's changed his mind. He's going to enrage the Night Sister for some resources. He wants that die control, I feel. Yep, he's got to have a control card in his hand that's going to cost money. Alright, there's the roll, and he flips Rise Again. Mm. That's really important information to have. Although, it always, every time I see Kylo trigger in that way, it makes me wish that Kylo had a, a discard face. Yes, because that'll be... It's just so you could try and get that card afterwards and get rid of it. That's right. Whoop. Um, Alright, so Philippe got... That's not a bad roll, this is who... Oh, there's the Night Sister um, re-rolling it. Which is interesting, because he could have Ford and Naxxus did as well. But it is two damage. Alright, came back shields. <laughs> But the nicest is already at four damage. Turn yeah, one. she's really injured. There's the disrupt. Okay. Yeah, Philippe may just gun down or slash down Night Sister. He did that in the first game and it worked out for him. For sure. And Philippe's got a force illusion. And no money to pay for it. But he doesn't need it quite yet. It'll be a good card for later, though. That's true. As long as he doesn't. Oh, there's the enrage. There it is. Because he wants to play that. Yeah, now he has options. Mm -hmm. So that's two, three damage, yep. shield, and blank. Yep. I expect he'll be re-rolling in the future. They're spending for overconfidence on his own die. Oh, that's a Interesting. One. Oh. That gets rid of the sister. Yep. <clears throat> Only a two would have, would have uh, saved. But she has the two option. Oh, leadership. Leadership, yep. Smart. And I love seeing the comments right now where people are just going on about how great our meta is as there's so many different decks that can get up to the top. I mean, we saw Palpatine earlier, which is something that fell out and is back. There are numerous... And it was a close match, too. Yeah. And there are numer although there are numerous decks that run Seventh Sister, they play very differently. Absolutely. There's the Hidden Motive. I expect Calling Damage. There's and the damage. It. It's gone. But Seventh Sister is still readied. So oh, stuff's going to happen. There's one damage. Two shields. Yep. Thank you. And then I was like, oh, there's a reason. All right, there's the extra droid. Yep. This will make the droid start to get really good. Plus that's three. Not, nice. That's not. That's a, that's a good roll. That's not bad. I mean, he's got the base to go with it. And he claimed. Philippe claimed. So he definitely doesn't have any answers in yep. hand. Discarding Rise Again to roll. So that's both Rise Again's and Grave. Wow. That's that's ballsy. Yeah. Well, he feels like he's strong in position and he wants to get that OTK damage. Well, he did get the focus. Yep. Uh, so he'll focus. I ex Back to the Night Sister 2, and oh, because it's a 2 yeah, due to these. So, just as a reminder, the way the droids work, their X is equal to the total number of droids on the board, including themselves, when they're resolved. Kylo's are 5 damage. Yeah. But both Rise Again are out. So, yes. every damage that you do to the Night Sisters is important. Yeah. Looks like John may have drawn 
two uh, two doubts and two draw cards. Boundless ambition. Thank you. Are the other rooms closed? That's a lot of repetitive cards in his hand. Yeah, let's just get them to close the rooms if they're not. Oh. Yeah, so we've had a comment about <laughs> some of those damage tokens being hard to read. Because uh, they're clear, yeah. Assuming. Uh, assuming someone comes on the stream next with those same tokens, we may ask them to swap them so we can read them better. That's a great point. Alright, here comes Anakin. Not a great roll, but that happens. It's important to note that Philippe has that force solution in hand. Yep. There's the heal with the... Oh, oh he overrode. Oh, wow. It's not common to see someone override an ancient lightsaber. Well, he doesn't have any shields, so... Yeah, and that saber is just so powerful. But again, it's an ancient lightsaber. For sure. And no rise again, so he can't get it back. That is problematic, because that is... I think that's, that's lethal, and he doesn't have an ancient lightsaber anymore. Yeah. Although he may choose to... Oh, he, he has he the can resources. Pay for it, yeah. yeah, he has the resources. It's is that six damage showing? And his characters don't have guard because they don't yeah. have the battlefield. I'm yeah. expecting a Night Sister damage play in order to keep himself alive. Although maybe he'll, he has a card I missed in his hand. A doubt. Okay. Uh, and it comes up uh, off the table and it comes back as special. special. Does he have a card to discard? He does. And that's dam three damage. So that worked out not in John's favor. Yeah. That Night Sister is. And there goes the Seventh Sister. Yeah. <laughs> now this is a very rough spot. Yep, John's going to be hurting here. Again, he pitched the rice against. Yep. Although he hasn't had the resources. <laughs> he could have. He could have. Philippe's just re rolling to try and get some damage in. Do you feel like. Um, there's anything Cobell can do at this point, or is it more like formality, just playing it out? It's probably more of a formality, unless it goes really badly. Mm. For, unless Philippe's f roll failures start happening, John's in a bad spot. I think they're just playing through the motions. Yep. Well, as, you're at top status, four, yeah. why would you want to just walk away? There's the Boundless. And we can overhear John is kind of talking like, I'm just doing this to That's right. see He's what I can get. That's right. He's just going through it for But, you know, we got to give it to both of them. They're great players. Yep. They went really, really far. Yep. And John is playing it out like a champ as opposed to just giving up and... Yeah, just scooping. Yeah. All right. He does have a Force Illusion in hand, which means he can keep himself alive longer. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Oh. Uh, has he injures the Night Sister to reroll the Night Sister die? Because I believe he has. There it is. Because he has a plus two on the Sienna. He was looking for three damage. And now he's calling, out, he's calling out a moral victory for being able to do that damage. Mm -hmm. All right. So it, right now, I would probably discard the Force Illusion if I was. You know. He's just rolling to do see what damage he can get. Uh, there's the damage from Kylo. I'm assuming he's going to kill Night Sister. Yep. Yeah. Night Sister is as good as dead. Yep. Now he's just got Sienna left, who only has one damage face. Mm -hmm. That matters. But he gets the droid on the sister. On uh, Sienna. <laughs> I mean, it's a thing. Yeah. And for any of those people who are watching this and commenting, Questioning, viewing these things as mis anything as misplays. Please again remember these guys have been playing since 10 a.m. this morning. This is a very it can be very draining. They are doing the best they can, and I think they're doing great. I, and I believe time has just gone off. Oh, my mistake. That was an imperial salt time going off over here. I was a little confused, but I'm hearing a timer go off. <laughs> That's four damage on. Oh. Oh, so best choosing defense. to do three to he saves damage. Yeah. Well, technically it would have been the same because well, no, it was five versus three. All oh, right, right. So he saved two damage. 
It's never great, but it's a thing. The other matchup is a uh, Qui-Gon Yoda mirror? Um, I may be. Yeah, so out of that bracket, they're gonna, we're going to see a Qui-Gon Yoda no matter what. Yep. Well, really, we're going to see an all-blue final, as mentioned in the comments. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we are. Uh, the reds and the yellows didn't somehow, quite make it. Unless somehow John pulls this through. The miracle? I mean... If he, if he makes it through, he will be known, renowned yeah. across destiny. He'll be like, the comeback. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. All right, so we're just... Sorry, guys. We're just getting amused by some of the commentary that they're making themselves at the table. Um, <laughs> Which is hilarious. Oh, yeah, for sure. Discarding As Philip is just own. discarding good upgrades to see if he can get damage. Okay. All right. <laughs> John's calling Philippe on whether or not he can actually get the damage in this round or not. And there's the ditch to reroll, oh, and he got the damage, I believe. That game. All right. Philippe Hakim moves on. I believe so. Uh, no. He's not dead yet. He's only at seven of nine. He, oh, it was a plus right. three. It's a nine. It's a nine. Yeah. So this is getting very close to done. Yeah. I mean, just a, a, a Kylo trigger will... will <laughs> yeah, a correctly called Kylo trigger. And, and, and he just gets rid of a blue card to reduce the, the Kylo comments. Now, he does have a red card in hand. He has a one in four chance of... Yeah. Now John's questioning why Phil is got to be like that because he's triggering and Kylo for the win. Blue. That is it. That is game, guys. So yeah. All right. <laughs> They're congratulating great, each other. Great game.